Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to the third Age of Empires Definitive Edition campaign, Yamato, Empire of the Rising Sun. On the very edge of the Eastern World, a new civilization was born beneath the Rising Sun. Follow the Yamato as they eclipse the neighboring clans to dominate Japan, turning the islands of rice farmers and fishermen into an empire of warriors and poets. The Divine Emperor Qin Shi Hua dispatched you across the Eastern Seas to locate the Elixir of Life on Penglai Mountain and return it to him so that he may rule China for eternity. You are a rational person and know that you may find no elixir in the Eastern lands, but you did not become court sorcerer by digging wells after you were thirsty. Before departing Shangdong, you requested soldiers for your journey. These will allow you to defeat whoever might oppose you at your destination, and if necessary, allow you to settle in the east. Alrighty folks, this is a pretty straightforward mission. Um, the objective is simple, eliminate the Jomon chieftain. And this is a classic tale of one man and a priest walk into a bar, they kill everything, the end. Let's begin. So I'm going to get as far away from the lion as possible, make sure we don't aggro any others. Lions do an extraordinary amount of damage <laughs> to archers. Or just about anything, actually. Um, basically, we just have this one hero unit, and then we'll pick up a priest later on, and a couple of troops as well, to be fair. But it is mostly based this guy and, uh, and the priest healing him that's the uh, main gimmick of this mission. Um, another little gimmick is that uh, the priest can't move, but we do outrange enemies, so we want to take full advantage of that. Slingers do hit like a truck, unfortunately, so we need to make sure that we are keeping our distance. Right now, health is a resource we can't recover, so I want to make sure that we are losing as little of it as possible. I suppose we're going to have to take on a big old alligator in a short while. Luckily this guy is an absolute boss. So we'll get a little transport boat. Now the interesting gimmick with this is uh, the enemy priest can't move, but they can be picked. They can be picked up in transports. Yeah, so we literally can't move them anywhere, but we can pick them up, as we said. So these are just normal alligators. The ones we fought earlier were uh, a special alligator with way more health, way more damage. So they also, although we'll control the unit, we don't have any vision on the blind lame priest, so um, if you walk away from it, you'll lose it, essentially. Or at least you won't be able to uh, find it very easily. Luckily, we don't actually really need him anymore. It's kind of served his purpose, for the most part. I'm going to drop him over here. She's got enough resources to build a couple of archers. Don't really need the archers right now. This guy can do pretty much all the heavy lifting. Especially now we got a priest as well to heal our wounds. And there is another one that we're picking up um, down the path anyway. I mean, I pretty much just need the archers for a little bit later on. You don't really need them either, to be fair. You can do it all with just the hero. But a little bit of extra firepower doesn't hurt. 
This is where we'll find the extra priest. Lick our wounds. Basically you want this guy to tank. For the most part. So I guess bring him back up. Print some repeats. And this guy's only around the corner anyway. The only thing you need to be wary of is there is a priest right in the far back corner who will actually convert your hero. Heroes I found out are not immune to conversions, so it's a fun way to lose. <laughs> but luckily we can just lure the enemy out. Luckily we've got three armor, so these guys don't really do much damage to the hero. Alright, do one more heal up. Finish this mission out. This guy's got quite, uh, quite a lot of health, so it takes 18 shots for the hero to kill him. But he also doesn't do much damage against the hero, to be, to be fair, and we can out-heal him with the priest. Yeah, this is the way to hit. Basically, just lure them out, ignore the priest entirely. Yeah, he's literally the one-man army, essentially, this mission. Cheese. Nice and simple to start things off. After defeating the Joman chieftain, you scaled a mountain and found no elixir. If you were to return to China, the emperor would be most displeased with your failure. You decide to stay and settle in this land. The Jomon will need a leader, and you have much to teach them. Alrighty folks, well that'll about do it for the first mission in this campaign. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.